is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back here with some more Fortnite Battle Royale. And today, guys, I got a really, really, I don't know if I'd call this a passionate video. Or just something that's just kind of really bugging me. Especially within the landscape, but not just games, but entertainment as a whole. But I'll just focus more on the gaming aspect of it. But it's got me to a point where it's almost really... I pity a lot of people who get thrown into all this or sometimes even forced to hear all this stuff because it must be so exhausting and tiring. But my main point of this whole video is this. I wish more people would play games instead of just nonstop talk about them. And if you're kind of confused by what I mean by that, I'll elaborate. It just seems like more now today than any other time in gaming. It just seems like I see people non-stop they want to talk about a game whether online social media videos they just want to non-stop talk about a game and a lot of times it's games that they haven't even like played they just want to non-stop talk about it regardless of what it is but when it comes to actually the, the game part itself it's like you can just tell hey this person's never even played it but they have such an opinion on it and they just want to run their mouth whether they, they hate the game or it offends them or it does this that or or sometimes even they claim they're a big fan, but they've never even like played the thing at all. And it seems like more people just want to talk nonstop about games, or they want to watch games, but they don't want to, you know, play them. And what I mean by watch is I'm not talking about oh you're watching gameplay of it, you're trying to make like an educated purchase over a game whether you think you like it or not. I'm just talking about like they just they just watch everyone else just so they can formulate all their things they always say like watching somebody and actually playing it is two completely different things i've made that point in survival horror games a lot but my point is, is that people non-stop just want to complain and moan about stuff of things they've never even played and it seems like that's all people want to do nowadays they don't want to play things they just want to argue about things talk about how much they hate this how it offends them how it pisses them off how everything's ruined and they don't actually even play the games my favorite thing is when i hear oh Gaming is ruined. Gaming is dead. Anyone who honestly is an actual person who plays games will tell you there's so many games every single year that come out. And yeah, not all of them are the usual suspects. A lot of times, you know, you have to go outside your comfort zone. Or if you play a wide variety of genres of games anyway, you don't have a problem with this. But yeah, if you play the same few games every single year, yeah, you might get you know, bored and tired of it. Even my favorite games, I get tired of playing over time. You know, that's why I mix it up. You know, have variety. Like, everyone has their favorite food. But if you eat it every single day, yeah, you're going to get tired of it. And I'm not going to list the usual suspects of people I feel are like this. But my whole point is people just nonstop want to get mad and rant. And listen, everyone deserves a good rant every once in a while. But I don't need a, a rant like five times a day from everyone. Like everyone is always outraged by something, pissed off by something. I mean, everyone has so much unhealthy levels of anger. I mean, it put the Incredible Hulk to shame. Like it's just how angry everyone seems to be and they, and then they get mad over things that just don't matter they just have no bearing on him like let's you know a little personal thing about me growing up um i actually was, had a lot of bad anger problems and my thing with my anger was i didn't understand where it was coming from like i would get mad at things that didn't make any sense over time as i grew up and matured i learned more about myself and i would do certain things that would work for me to you know, clear my mind of that stuff. And as I got older, you know, I have to say, I've never had like an instant when I did when I was like younger in like elementary school or something like that. But my point being is that I'm not somebody that lets anger cloud the judgment. You know, yes, there are things we can get mad at, but at least get mad at things that make sense. I'm not going to get mad at the dumb crap a lot of people get mad at in games that do not matter. And what I mean by that is, I don't mean by, like, a game being broken. Like, if you bought a game and it's broken, yeah, you have a valid reason to be mad because you spent money on that. And, you know, it shouldn't be broken like that. And usually it's full price, and I get that. But then people are just getting mad because nowadays, more than ever before, people want to know everything about a game and everything unimportant about a game. I'm not talking about the gameplay mechanics or the story of the game and the characters and stuff they want to know everything about the people behind the game what they did in their personal lives everything they've said on social media if it conforms to their belief system and if it doesn't then they're a part of the problem and that's where the whole 
everything is ruined and you know you can't buy this game and if you do play this game you're part of the problem and i'm just like wait what, what what the hell like that's a lot of mental gymnastics you just took there you know i'm just guys I, i'm a simple person okay when i see a game that looks interesting i put it on my radar I'm like okay you know this might be something i might purchase down the line and i look at you know gameplay stuff like that my first inkling isn't oh this game looks a certain way let me investigate it you know I, I feel like a lot of these angry people that just want to get mad for the sake of it just so they can do whatever whether it's just to be mad for mad or maybe it's for to manipulate people to believe the way they do or whatever the case may be i feel like you remember that old book game called where's waldo where you'd have to search for waldo i feel like they're like that it's like they don't when they see these trailers of stuff they're not trying to look at a game they want to purchase or play. They're trying to look at. They're trying to find the thing that gets them mad and pissed off, just so they can look at it, profit off of it, and then just try to justify it or misplace anger, just because like th that's how they live. Which is sad, and it makes me pity these people because it's like, man, you know, there's no happiness in your life. Like you can't find things that make you happy or enjoy. Like you know, I get it. You're mad and upset about something that maybe change or you didn't like what they did with it but we're not even talking about that it's just people getting mad for no reason like things i get mad at that actually get me angry in life you know my job or you know my family problems or you know my health or my financial situation or insurance or whatnot you know my car or something like that you know problems associated with that you know i don't personally care what the people behind the project said or did or what they believe in because i'm not buying a game because of that you know if you don't know what i'm talking about you know the latest and this won't be the only they'll have they'll by by the end of the week they'll have a new thing to get mad at because people they find these things that piss them off like every few days it doesn't take long but now that everyone's trying to wire up a whole problem with the person like as I, said, I was really excited to see ghost of yote and you know when i first watched ghost of yote the trail i was really excited and happy and i was looking to see if there's any other information on the story and stuff like that but apparently none of that stuff matters because apparently the person who's playing the main character everyone had to do a whole thorough background check on them and they found out that oh this person is it i guess you know conform to the beliefs they have and they looked up their past and then they were even talking about how the way they look which has no bearing on the game whatsoever like what does that have anything to do with anything but they're like oh because of all this the game is ruined and it's already destroyed and you know you know we can't be happy we have to stop this immediately and everything's already um, destroyed dead on arrive before it arrives i'm just like what how like what the hell and it's just like to, to be in that mindset it, it's just got to be sad and that's when you realize that a lot of these people they don't care about playing fun games they just want to find something to get mad at to argue about to get you know pissed off and they just try to get other people to believe and follow what they do just so they can validate their anger and as i said they don't care because when they do have good games in front of them they barely ever talk about them. They don't ever want to talk about them. The only way they talk about them is if they can use to weaponize it against other things that they don't personally like. Like, guys, imagine if your favorite game of all time, it's been your favorite game for years, and you found out, like, the person behind it was some, I don't know, said some things that you don't personally agree with, that you completely disagree with. Does it stop being your favorite game? I think 99.9% .9 of people wouldn't care because, like, hey, you know, it is what it is. What they say on their own life is their problem, not mine. I'm just here to play the game. And once you play the game, you either like it or you don't like it, and then you move on. The problem is these people can't move on. They just get stuck in this anger. And by the way, is it healthy to be that angry all the time? You know, stress is a bad thing enough as it is in life. I think a lot of people are killing themselves because of having much unhealthy stress. And having this pent up anger every single day for things that don't matter is just it just can't be healthy but like for instance like you know people want to do all this outrage and shit like that take a little hint from me like you don't know if you knew the channel my all-time favorite video game is resident evil 4 okay and while it is a very beloved game there are people that believe that this game ultimately killed the franchise that you know, it, it's all ruined, it, you know, it, it destroyed the franchise, yada, yada, yada. It's not a real Resident Evil game, yada, yada, yada. You don't think I hear this stuff all the time? And none of this stuff bothers me. I don't care. I don't get mad at them. If that's what they want to think, that's fine. Let them think what they want to think. It's not going to bother me. 
So I don't give them the time of day to really have it affect me in the first place. You know, it is what it is. Let them think what they want. Eventually, well, I hope so, one of these days they tire themselves out. But I'll give Resident Evil fans one thing. They just, they're dedicated. I mean, some of these people have been mad about this from 20 years ago, and they're still going on. So I guess I respect the effort. But, I mean, put yourself into more positive situations, I guess, feel better. Or just, you know, as I say, move on. But it just seems like they still can't move on. You know, you don't have to like everything, and you don't have to agree with everything. But... Don't let these things have power over you. At the end of the day, these are games you play from enjoyment. You're not going to like every single one. And if there's something you don't like, that's fine, you know? And something that made you mad, that's fine. But don't let it be your everyday life where you have to complain about it every single day and you have to search up fights. It's just, as I said, you know, games are meant to be enjoyed, not to argue about for every single day about, you know, which one's better than that. Um, does it conform to my ideology? It's like, I'm just playing games to have fun and enjoy them. I want to play the games, and the thing about the people who always want to talk about the games, the best analogy I can use, it's kind of like someone who read the back of the book and claims to know everything about the game, compared to someone who actually played the entire game, read the entire book, and knows the book, and they can talk about it, and you can just tell from a mile away, and it's just, it's hard to have fruitful conversations, because every time you try to have a conversation, you know, it's always going to be about things. Like when I see Ghost of Yote, just as, as the latest example, I'm curious about, oh, I wonder how they're going to um, they're going to do the story. How are they going to do the new landscape? Or what what new items and stuff are they going to have? Are they going to bring back the old duels? Or are we going to have like the only demon mode? But no, a lot of these other people, they don't care about any of this stuff because none of this stuff cares about it. It's not something they can get mad at and profit off of. They just want to talk about, hey, you know, you know, this person isn't 100%, I guess, the norm and what they consider norm. And this is something we can profit off of because we know we'll get enough of an audience to believe this stuff and, you know, you know, get mad and moan about it 24-7. And that's, again, you know, I, I don't understand how what someone's personal beliefs in their own life and stuff have anything to do with what they do in their, you know, work. They're voicing a character, okay? Now, as I said, you know... If the game comes out and has its problems, it has its problems. But it's just simply because it just wasn't done right. You know, I know a lot of people say, oh, if it's not done right, it's because of this. Yeah, I don't think that's the reason why. I, I highly doubt it is. Because I said, Sucker Punch has... I've yet to play a Sucker Punch game that didn't, you know, make me feel good about it. You know, as I said, I've played all the Infamous games. And in the first, Ghost of Tsushima. But... And that's the thing. I've actually played these games. That That's the difference here. I didn't watch someone play a little bit of it. I actually played these games beginning to end. So it's not like I just watched a clip and didn't try to get everyone outraged about it. And that's the thing I see a lot of. People just watch one clip and they're just like, oh, well, it's an outrage. Everything's ruined. It's like you didn't even play the game at all, let alone beat it and complete it. But And you want me to you respect you and, you know, Listen to what you have to say? Yeah, I, I don't think so. That's not something that I honestly am going to respect at this point. Well, it's just, it's it's getting hard to like just have a normal conversation. And it's just like nobody wants to talk about games anymore. They just want to talk about ideologies and then just hiding behind the games and stuff. And I'm just like, dude. And then you have the argument, well, they're changing everything. I don't think every single game that's being made right now is changing everything, okay? You find a few examples that do support your evidence, but then you ignore all the other examples that don't. You know, there's tons of great games that do things that are amazing that nobody talks about because they're not mainstream, they're not AAA, they're not the best of the best, and you guys ignore them. If you really cared about games that much, you'd be sitting there praising these other games, but I don't hear you guys talk about it. Oh, I wonder why. Because, you know, hey, the whole negativity profit example, you know, as negativity makes people view stuff more and profit stuff more but hey you know that's more important than actually the good games you want to play and stuff like that because that doesn't give you the views and profit and that's my problem they just want to talk about things they get them mad and then stay mad and they don't want to be happy they don't want to play good games they just want to sit there and talk about things that piss them off or things they can manipulate their audience to piss them off and stuff and that's a sad state we're in and it's self-inflicted as i said social media i just honestly think it's just it's kind of like the internet it's a double-edged sword you get the opportunity to talk to people but unfortunately at the same time you get the opportunity to hear people that you probably don't want to hear that annoy the hell out of you because as i said now everyone's getting mad at this person the person playing the main character of ghost yote because they're blocking people oh why did they block me why did they do this well it's their right to block people if they want to Maybe they didn't want to hear you. Oh, well, they had me blocked before. Well, who knows? You know, I mean, once again, let me use some um, 
reverse Uno on you. Let's just say they black me, even though I've never even mentioned them until today. All right, I haven't even mentioned their name, but I haven't even mentioned them at all until this day or referred to them in any way, shape, or form. Let's, let's say they block me. Does that make me mad? No. Why doesn't it make me mad? Because why does it matter? I don't care. I'm not here to look up their personal life, their personal beliefs, what they feel, what they believe. That's on them. That's what they feel, and if it makes them happy, more power to them. I'm just here to play a game. Okay? It's not going to stop me from not playing a game. I don't care what they do. They can do whatever they want. If that's what makes them happy, more power to them. Why would that ever upset me? Why that would ever make me mad? And people, you know, that they do all this stuff to talk about it, you know, they want that validation. They want these people to always be following them up their butt 24 7 I've never followed anybody like that in my entire life. Any voice actor, actor, actress, whoever, director, I don't care. I got more important things to do. You know, like take care of my own family and you know, work my own job and do other things and and, and 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 you know play the actual games and not waste my time talking about things that don't matter they can say whatever they want they don't have power over me they don't live rent or free in my head i just want to play the game that's all i want to do ghost of yote looks like a fun entertaining game it's a sequel to the first one that i absolutely love i'm gonna play it i don't care what they say what what do i mean i, I care about what the game does what it looks like how it plays and stuff you know the characters the story stuff like that and what we won't know until we get closer to the release date and to eventually play it but at least if i do claim i don't like something at least i would have the opportunity of playing a game and sometimes you know maybe something doesn't interest me because the gameplay or trailers leading up to the game release didn't interest me or maybe i wait because i feel like it may not be worth it i always ask myself two questions before i purchase any game one was the game fun and two was it worth what i paid for if i answer yes to both those things then it was worth the purchase if i answer yes to one of those things it probably meant it was worth it but not at that price so i probably should have waited and if i answered no to both those things then it wasn't worth it and with that mentality i have probably been satisfied 95 percent of my life playing games i mean a few times there's a few games that once again you know they don't turn it the way you want to and it just wasn't fun or worth it but that's a low five percent there compared to 95 percent and considering i've been playing games for almost three decades i think that's a pretty damn good ratio but once again i play games have fun and be entertained i don't play games they're not an ideology they're not you know a way of life they're just a means of entertainment that's all they are they're just there to make me have fun in a few hours of time i have in my life now i'm not occupied by work family or maybe just tired or maybe they don't feel like it that's what they're there for. They're there for entertainment. That's all games are. And I wish more people would understand it and stop trying to use them as weapons to, you know, use against other people. And listen, I know someone's going to say down below, oh, well, you know, some of these companies and developers, they don't give a damn. Listen, companies don't give a damn about you since the dawn of time. That's been there since forever, okay? The second you realize that, you maybe feel a little bit better about yourself. And yes, do I believe that some companies try to push certain things on you? Yes. But you know what you have the power to do? You don't, You have the power to not support it. Not buy it. That's your right. You know, no one can take that from you. But not every single company is doing this. People have this whole boogeyman mentality where everyone is, is wrong. Everyone is out to get you. Everything is ruined. Maybe, just maybe, if you spent more time trying to find games that are good and entertaining, instead of trying to find things to get mad at, like it's Where's Waldo, and I, I mean, that's all they do. It's like they're not even trying to play a game. They're trying to search up the secret of the ancients of mythical mythology or something. Like, they're trying to find every secret hidden cursor of everything that's going to piss them off in life. It's like, you realize there's a lot of games out there that are fun, entertaining, good, and just good for your mentality. It's to put you in a good mood. And they're out there right now, but nobody wants to play them because they just want to talk about how much they hate everything, how much everything sucks, nothing's good. And these games exist in all eras, old, middle, new. Like, all you got to do is just, you know, they're there, just play them. And you'll feel so much better about yourself. It's not being caught in this endless cycle. Everything sucks. Like... What kind of cycle is that? How is that healthy for your mindset? But hopefully I made this point as clear as possible. Sorry to go on a while, but, you know, it is what it is. But people, play the game. Stop talking about it 24-7, and you'll feel a lot better about yourself. Your mental sanity as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know how you guys feel about this. Do people rather talk about games more than actually play them? Let me know in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully I can see you guys back in the next one. Thanks, and I'll see you all later. Peace.